I think uh, you should, according to your possibilities, you should build upon the fact that you have different cultures and different languages in the country. And, uh, and for those people who feel Ukrainian but might speak a different language, give them the opportunity to have their voice heard through the public service broadcaster. That's the best thing you can do. The Finnish Broadcasting Company, which is commonly called YLE, that's the abbreviation for the, for the Finnish name of the company, has the responsibility for all the language services in Finland. So it carries the responsibility to broadcast both in Finnish and in Swedish. And that, in my opinion, is the way it should be. Because this one entity carries this responsibility. But it also has the understanding that the interpretation of what is Swedish in a country belongs to the Swedish minority. And the interpretation of what is Finnish in the country belongs to the, Sw to the Finnish majority. And this, in my opinion, is really important, that you understand that the, the only people who can make an interpretation of what it is to be a Swedish-speaking Finn are those people who speak Swedish. So if you turn it into, for instance, what I guess is the, the, are the major languages here, here uh, Ukrainian and Russian, then give the Russian people who are, feel themselves as Ukrainian their voice, let them do the interpretation, and the Ukrainians will do the interpretation of what they are, what they are doing. But if you would follow a, a policy where you say uh, Ukrainian national public service media should speak Ukrainian, what you are saying is that, ah, but if you do not speak Ukrainian, you cannot be considered Ukrainian. For me, that would mean that the Finnish population in Finland would say to me, you go somewhere else because you're not Finnish. I feel Finnish, but I speak Swedish. Because it's not the same thing. There might be something else that is important to the Russian-speaking uh, people in Ukraine than to the, to the Ukrainian. Because for one reason, you live in different parts of the country, or there is a group, a large group living in the eastern part of Ukraine who speak Russian. There might be things happening in that part of the region that they want to interpret that would be more important to them. So, so that's the reason, in my opinion. If you, if you do it as a translation service, um, it's not the same thing. If you, if you want, it's a question of respect, and it's a question of understanding, and it's a question of giving the voice to different kinds of cultures, different ways of, in, of, of making an interpretation of what it is to be Ukrainian. You will have, it will be a richness if you give the voice to the different uh, language-speaking minorities in the country. If you do not allow for that richness, you will lose something.